Top Don Relink X7 vs. J2534 vs. Light. The Ultimate Diagnostic Showdown. Hey there, Bob G Motors family. Hussein here, and let me start today's ride with something fun. You know how every mechanic has that one favorite wrench they just can't work without? Well, today we're not talking about wrenches. We're talking about the brainy side of automotive diagnostics. But before we roll up our sleeves, here's a quick but important disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything shown here is designed to help technicians, learners, and enthusiasts understand these tools better. All trademarks belong to their respective owners, and you should always follow official manufacturer guidelines and local laws when working on vehicles. Now here's my question for you. If you had to choose only one diagnostic tool to carry in your kit for the next five years, which would it be? The Relink X7, the Relink J2534, or the Relink Lite? Drop your answer in the comments, because I really want to know how you think. And before we dive in, let's set today's challenge. Let's hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments within the next 24 hours. It sounds crazy, but with your support, it's possible. Also, don't forget to hype this video. It's free, fun, and it helps push Bobji Motors right up the YouTube leaderboard. If you find value in what we're doing, a super thanks is always appreciated. It really keeps this channel alive. All right, let's get into the showdown. Topton's Relink X7, Relink Jake 2534, and Relink Lite. Three tools, all designed for professional diagnostics, but each one comes with its own personality and strengths. Let's start with the Relink X7 and Relink J2534. At their core, both of these run on an ARM Cortex M3332 bit processor. They're compact, light, and connect to your PC via USB Type-C. They don't come with batteries, Wi-Fi, or fancy displays. These are strictly straightforward pass-through devices, but don't underestimate them. They're reliable, stable, and perfect for OEM software pass-through like Mercedes Zentry, BMW ISDA, or Toyota Techstream. Now, here's where the Relink Lite really separates itself. Instead of a lightweight chip and tiny memory, it packs a quad-core 1.8 GHz processor, 2 GB of RAM, and 32 GB of storage. It even runs Android 10 with a 5-inch LCD screen, built-in Wi-Fi, and an Ethernet port. In short, it's not just an interface, it's practically a mini-diagnostic computer in your hand. And unlike the X7 or J2534, it has a battery inside, which means you don't need to constantly rely on vehicle power. When we look at protocols, the Relink Lite also wins. While the X7 and J2534 mainly support J2534, DPDU, CANFD, DUIP, and KWP2000, the Lite extends its reach with RP1210, CAN, K-Line, J1850, and more. Basically, it's built for versatility. Moving on to vehicle coverage, this is where things get really interesting. The Relink X7 and Lite cover more brands compared to the J2534. With them, you get compatibility for Ford IDS, Nissan Consult 3, JLR Pathfinder and Topics, Porsche Piwis 4, Benz VDMO, BMW ESIS, IMPA, and even Rowey VDS 2. The J2534, unfortunately, skips some of these heavy hitters. And if you're wondering about remote diagnostics, that feature is expected to launch for the Relink Lite in March 2025, something neither the X7 nor the J2534 offer. That means with Lite, you could potentially troubleshoot vehicles without being physically there. Now let's talk about form factor. The Relink X7 and J2534 weigh just 90 grams each, super compact and pocket friendly. The Lite, on the other hand, is much heavier at around 608 grams but that weight brings extra power, a screen, and more connectivity. To sum it up, the Relink J2534 is your dependable pass-through device, perfect for technicians who just want stability with OEM software. The Relink X7 is newer, gives you a choice of one brand driver, and is a great entry point if you're focusing on specific brands. And the Relink Lite is the powerhouse, bigger, heavier, but loaded with features like Wi-Fi, a built-in screen, extended protocol support, and soon, remote diagnostics. So, 
The real choice depends on your needs. Are you a shop owner who wants an all-in-one tool? Go with the light. If you're more about OEM pass-through stability, the J2534 makes sense. And if you're dipping your toes into diagnostics, the X7 could be a smart start. And now, the answer to the question I asked earlier. If I had to pick just one for the next five years, my choice would be the Relink Light. Why? Because it's future-proof, versatile, and ready for remote diagnostics. But that's just my view. What about you? Comment below and let me know which one you trust most in your toolkit. Before I wrap this up, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that modern diagnostic tools like these are more powerful than the computers NASA used during the Apollo missions? Think about that for a second. The device you plug into a car today has more computing power than the technology that put humans on the moon. Incredible, right? So let's bring this to a close. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please smash that like button, help us hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments, and don't forget to hype the video to push Bob G Motors up the leaderboard. Subscribe if you haven't already, share this video with your friends in the auto industry, and if you really love the content, a super thanks goes a long way. This is Hussein from Bob G Motors signing off. Keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, happy diagnosing.